Good day, poker peeps. This is Sky with Smart Poker Study. And in this video, I'm going to give you a five-step process for building your own poker ranges with Flopzilla Pro. So you can see over here the Excel spreadsheet, um, a little itinerary in the five steps right here. Also, of course, Flopzilla Pro, the best equity calculating software, hand reading software. I love Flopzilla Pro. So step one is you want to have a percentage that you want to build to. Maybe you learned different open raising ranges from your coach, maybe a content creator. You know, you watched a YouTube video, read an article online somewhere, or maybe a book that you read gave you some recommended percentages to use by position for open raising. You want to start with the smallest percentage and then build up from there for the higher percentages. For example, Maybe your coach told you in the EP, don't raise beyond 10%. In the MP, don't go beyond 15% maybe. I'm going to show you two different ways to actually build the percentages. Now, of course, you have your percentage in mind. We want to build to a 10% range. So I'm going to show that right now. Two different ways. First, use the slider or the percentage box for the default Flopzilla Pro range. So you can grab the slider and then just drag it over to 10%. 10.1% BAM. Sixes are better. Suited Broadways, Ace-9 suited, Ace-Jack off and better right here. So this is the default range that Flopzilla Pro recommends. Or recommend might not be the right word, but builds to when you get it to 10%. What if we just enter 10% right here? Hit enter. BAM! Exact same range, right? This is just how Flopzilla Pro uh, designs its ranges based on percentage. So I'll show you how to tweak that in just a little bit. The other way that you can build a range is in the order of specific hand strengths until you hit the percentage that you want. So I'd recommend starting with pocket pairs. So the idea is put yourself in this position. You're open raising in the EP. Which pocket pairs would you open raise with? Of course the aces, right? And maybe you just like all pocket pairs. You love hitting sets. You think they're always worth opening. They all have showdown value depending on what happens flop turn and river right but at least you have a pocket pair you could win at showdown let's put all the pairs in our range right here so we're at six percent now what do you add go to the broadways well i love ace king love the ace queen gotta have those in our range right ace jack suited i'm not sure about ace jack offsuit let me include it for now ah we're at 9.5 percent what other hands would i like to add king queen queen jack well we're at 10.1 percent no more can't go beyond this right of course, at this point, this is when you'll decide, okay, I need to add and subtract hands as I see fit. Maybe I love playing Jack 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, and 8, 7. Well, what hands can I remove to keep me or to get me back down to 10%? Oh, Ace Jack offsuit. Not bad. Oh, I can get rid of deuces. Oh, well, there we go. I'm at 10% right now. Or what you could do is you could say, well, I love the deuces and I actually like 7, 6 as well. 10.7. What if I had Ace 10 suited? Ah, we're at 11%. I know my coach told me 10%, but I'm really comfortable open raising in the EP with all these hands. I know how to play them uh, when I see the flop out of position or in position. I know how to play when somebody three bets back at me with these hands. I'm comfortable with this range. Bam, right? Like you added and subtracted hands as you see fit. Instead of going with your coach's 10%, you're going with an 11%. Totally up to you how you want to do ranges. So the next thing you want to do after you've built to the first percentage right here, you want to take a screenshot and then save that screenshot. Also save the range in Flopzilla Pro. And to do a screenshot, like in Microsoft Word, I have the snipping tool right here. So just hit new, click and drag. And when I copy my ranges, I always like to put the percentage in right here, as well as the combo count, just to have them there. And you can save this in any way that you want. I really like uh, Microsoft Publisher. So hit Control V. There's the range right here. You can see it has the 11% range. I can size it up or down. And let's imagine I made a 10% range. And then so I put a 15% range, a 20%, a 25%, a 30%, and then a 35% range. Bam, I have all of my rages, EP, MP, cut off, uh, a button, a really aggressive button, a very aggressive small blind, whatever it might be, your percentages for open raising. Bam, it's right here. Save it as a PDF, print it up so you have it in front of you. This is the first way I recommend to save your ranges because you got to have them in front of you if you want to play the ranges that you created, right? So that's step number one. Step number two is to save them within Flopzilla Pro. So right down here, once you've built your range and you're happy with it, add category, 
And this is your open raising range category. Accept it. And then now we want to add this hand to this category. So highlight it by clicking on it. Add range and then give it a name. You can give it 11%, maybe 11% EP open raising range. Hit accept and then bam, it's right there. Let's change the range. Let's actually clear all of this. Clear it and then double click here. Bam, our 11% range is saved. We'll have it from now on within Flopzilla Pro. Easy to pull up at any time. Now, the last step is to add hands to build to the next percentage. So your coach told you 10% EP, 15% MP. Well, let's simply start adding hands in this order to build to that 15% range. You know, build to a range that we're really comfortable with. So you're going to do, we've got all the pocket pairs. Let's think about broadways here. I really like these hands. Maybe you really like all of these offsuit broadways as well. Oh, we're already at 19%. Let's think about removing some of these weakest hands now, right? Because we probably want some suited aces, maybe even some more suited connectors, some suited gappers. Let's pull these out of the range. And you put yourself in the spot, right? You're in the MP. There's still the cut off the button, the small blind, and the big blind to act still four more players. Are you comfortable with these? If so, keep them in. Great. If not, go ahead and take them out and then start adding other hands that you would like to open raise from the MP. You think maybe 6-5 is great. Jack nine is great. Oh, we're already at 15% right here, but I really do like these hands right now. Hmm. So maybe I should get rid of the Jack nine. We're at 16%. My coach told me 10, I went to 11. He told me 15, I'm going to 16, but I'm really comfortable with these hands out of the MP. Great, this is my new uh, MP open raising range. So highlight this, uh, add range, 16% MP. Okay, take a screenshot, add it to your publisher document, however you want to do it. Great, now you have your 11% and your 16% range in the MP going right there. And just continue on in the cut off the button, your small blind open raising range until you have all five of your ranges. You have them all saved here. And of course, now that you've created your own ranges, the next step is to test them out over your next five, 10,000 hands, whatever the case may be. But I highly recommend if you want to create your own ranges, just find some percentages somewhere from some content creator or a coach or a book, and then bam, get to building. One thing that happens, even if you, uh, let's say you're not trying to build your own ranges to actually play. This kind of practice right here, it's just going to help you in general to understand preflop open raising ranges by building them to meet specific percentages. So in the future, if you encounter a player and you look at his HUD stats and you see he open raises 16% in whatever the position, this is potentially the range he's doing it with, right? It's going to help you hand read and range your opponents in game and off the felt. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you create your own ranges, whether or not you're going to use them, because like I said, it's going to develop your range understanding. And I'll catch you in the next video.